Welcome back folks. We're actually inside a different floor plan. We're inside our Sunseeker 2860. This is actually the only floor plan in the market right now in a Class C that has a full outdoor kitchen on it. A lot of our competitors do a half or a smaller pull-out kitchen. This would have more of what you would find on a travel trailer or a fifth wheel or even a Class A motor at all. We're going to highlight that here in just a second. Right now we're on the inside. I want to talk about our bunk space. A lot of our competitors use this bunk space and they run the bunk all the way to the wall. Notice what we do is we give you these cubby holes that have power sources for all the kids' electronics. But we cut it to be 60 by 80 inches. The reason we do that is 60 by 80 inches is actually the residential length and width of a queen size mattress. Meaning your fitted sheets are going to fit that mattress. Also, you've got two full size windows that both open on either side. Well, again, a lot of our competitors are going to no windows, one window, maybe two windows that are smaller than this that don't open, or frameless windows that only open about three inches. What this is going to give you is a full cross breeze across this cab right here. Very, very important because you've got all these windows beneath it, all of that heat rising. This is where your kids are sleeping, folks, so it's important we keep them nice and cool. Another way we do that to help keep them comfortable is when this privacy curtain is closed, you'll notice you've got an air duct here. Well, if that's closed, you can't get air into this chamber. So we've extended the air duct to get one into the bunk area, again, so for comfort for the kids or whoever is sleeping up there. And lastly, you'll notice this bunk safety net, which if you're keeping either children, adults, or cargo up there, this is gonna keep it up safely if you stop short. Standard feature. Last but not least, we always give you a ladder. If you can, if you can zone in on that, you got a 440 pound bunk rate, which is gonna give you more than enough weight for whoever is sleeping up there. Coming into the cab right here, this headset, seven inch headset from Pioneer. That is your AM FM radio, also Bluetooth capable, gives you Sirius satellite radio, and also gives you an integrated GPS. You have your backup and side view camera that will also um, show up on that display once you're in the driving mode. You can't see it on this one, but on the lower left hand side of this driver's seat, you do have a battery booster. That connects your house batteries to your two coach batteries, which gives you an override if either one of the sets of those batteries are dead. Moving around the rest of this coach, you have another Jensen headset here, which is going to control your entire surround sound system. It plays anything through the television or any kind of music source. This is also, also Bluetooth capable, so you can stream Spotify or Amazon Music or Apple Music through this entire coach and the outside speakers. A is for inside, B is for outside. So if you want to party, you can link to that and play whatever music you want. All LED lights throughout the entire coach, inside and out. The only halogen lights on this coach are your headlights from Ford. Everything else now has been changed out to LED. Much more efficient, burns much cooler, much brighter as well. Notice the storage you have in this floor plate. Two full pull-out drawers here, rated at 7,500 pounds each. The Dream Dinette right here, which makes into a bed very, very easily. And even this new sofa, that we've come out with has these great kick-up ornaments for when you're sitting in this sofa. So a lot of creature comforts. We come to the back of the coach here. Notice we're always going to do some kind of separation from the back of the coach to the front of the coach and it's always going to be a hard door. Whether that's this piano hinge door right here that magnets or in some cases you're going to have a sliding pocket door, you're always going to have a solid barrier between the front and the back to separate from you and your guests. In addition to that, we also typically have a, uh, an accordion door here that can separate off the bedroom from the rest of the coach. A flash shower door as well, and you're always going to have a sort of pillow top mattress. One of the finest mattresses in the RV industry. We, we paired with Serta about six years ago, and our customers love this mattress. Most mattresses that are purchased in the RV industry are thrown out within a month. If someone's going to buy something else. This is going to save you a couple hundred bucks buying a Sunseeker if you're using a certain mattress. Last but not least, I don't know if you can make your way in here. You see the, the thermostat on the wall there. All of the RVs that we bring in down here in Mineola, Texas at Longhorn RV are going to have a 15,000 BTU AC with a heat pump. Or if you can see the heat pump setting on there. So not only do you have a bigger AC with ducted air, you're going to have a heat pump. So for those colder mornings, you don't have to burn your propane on your furnace to be able to heat this coach. You're going to have heat coming through the ducted AC system. 
I also want to zero in on this on this television right here. All of my televisions, I'm not sure if I mentioned this or not, run off of 12 volt capabilities. If you're not familiar with what that means, think cigarette lighter in your car versus the two prong that goes into a wall plug-in. So you can actually watch TV while you're going down the road without the generator running. Really, really beneficial to our customers that want to be entertained or want to entertain the kids maybe sitting in a sofa with a seat belt going down the road watching television. I'll go over here for one second. We'll go over just one last feature on here. The last thing I want to finish up with here is the Bigfoot hydraulic leveling system. You'll notice we don't have the jacks down right now. It's hard to see in video, but we are parked on a slant. Everything's sloping to the left in the front of the coach. When you power this up, you're gonna notice this green foot is blinking at you. Once that's done, all I'm gonna do is hit auto level and you'll hear it. This coach is gonna level front to back, side to side, as close to zero degrees as possible until it's completely level. Not only is this convenient and saves time, It'll actually help out your appliances because your refrigerator, your AC, microwave, everything is designed to be level and works better than it. Where it's, you've got a pull-out table and then you've got compartments that open and things pull out. This is more of a um, fifth wheel or travel trailer outside kitchen. You've got the full outside kitchen. It's all enclosed in one door. Which the door doubles as obviously a barrier if there's rain or something like that too. Okay, right, so where's the... Where's the grill? You've got a hookup right here for a okay. grill that comes with the coach. Okay. It's a quick connect propane that runs right off your propane tank, which has about a four foot hose on it, so you can kind of set it off to the side if you sure. want. And then it stores in your exterior storage. And that's what these two are is exterior storage. Correct. Okay. Yeah, your water and right here you've got your water filtration system inside here. This is a full pass through storage to the other side. And then your black and your gray tanks are always going to be on the other side as well. But uh, again, we're at a bit of an incline here. This would normally yeah. be about this high off the ground. Okay. But you've got the you sink, obviously television. There's storage behind this television that comes out. You've got your refrigerator and your grill.